start. So, uh, where the hell did she want? Chris, Chris off, getting ready to go to Alabama. He's doing work. I can't. Uh, no, he's I not, just want to know. He's not doing work now. He's getting ready to go to do some work. Well, you know, he's traveling for work, so yeah. He, well, he had that work. It's time consuming. He did all that work yesterday. He he watched the whole freaking uh, uh, Jupiter's Legacy yesterday. Yeah, that was work. Work for the well, story. Well, that's in preparation of his <laughs> trip. What I want to know is where is Quincy. He said something about driving down the road, 70 miles an hour. It's something about it's, ele- it's electrical went out or something, something like that. Something is Mother's Day. He wants to go spend time with his family. Like For so, Quincy, that's something. What about us? I mean, you know. What about us? Be like Raven from the old 90s when, you know. I Raven. need Quincy to come back so he can send my book to CGC. To Mark Bagley? Yes. I cracked my uh, amazing uh, ultimate follow for you full of shit I cracked it <laughs> it's gonna get sent back yeah. he's gonna sign it he shit it's gonna go down a nine it's gonna go to nine a nine a nine, nine. nine. you're like ah! and he, he, that bag it out again yeah. so I'm just right. happy that Mark Bagley it's doing another signing with CGC well that's cool I mean I, I everybody knows how I feel about Mark Bagley the greatest Spider-Man artist in uh, history of Spider-Man uh <laughs> You know, I mean, just to give everybody a little uh, uh, story about how I like, I didn't know this until Bernie told me. Uh, I had this Spider-Man book since I had a kid. Since I was a kid, I had this same Spider-Man. That he stole from his brother. That I uh, uh, acquired. acquired from my brother. My without brother him, without him knowing. He did not know. Uh, minor details. So uh, I didn't realize that that was by Mark Bagley. It was like Spider Man one ninety something. It's it might have been and it's three three ninety something. Three ninety something. Yeah, it's with the Hulk <laughs> in the back, and I've always liked that's that's cartoony looking Spidey. And I was like, man, this is the yeah. You know what? Spider-Man now, ever. now you know that that gets it. Now I understand why you always bring up these. And I'm like, dude, Todd Knock and all these guys. Because that's uh, that, that's, 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 his, that's his style. That's, that's what he loves. I you know. That's what uh, did it for me when I was a kid. Uh, Looking at my brother, get his comics, you know, trying to read them when he's not looking or when he was in school. And that, ma- that makes sense because all the stuff that I liked when I was a kid oh. was all. It's the same. Like John Romita got, yeah. was all the. They're more real. I mean, I like John Romita but too. But what, what I'm saying is, after later. is that's why I kind of like that Spider Man or those type of drawings. The, yeah. the cartoony stuff is kind of yeah. cool. I like stuff like Chris Pachalo. I like his work. I like um, Todd Nog, uh, Bagley, the greatest Spider Man. You know, or just for his time. For his time, East Man. While he was collecting, East Man, uh, the second greatest Spider-Man. <laughs> I know he only done one, but uh, yeah. But that Carnage one is, is coming up. Really it's good. freaking dude. It is. It's, it's I, nice. I went down to South Carolina so, because what happened was you got the two right. Beat it, no, beat it. No, that's the one that uh, <laughs> that, that Ian wanted. <laughs> well, Ian didn't want to pay for it, <laughs> so it was, it was like it was like he was like, I would, he when I said we only could get one. You know, but, Ian was here. I know, but then he didn't realize you got both of them after I said it. And he's, and he's all like... He knew I had Mom, both because I told them. I was like, Mom, I'm taking them both. Mom. Oh, well. Nah. Hey, Ian, if you're watching, sucks to be you, bro. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're rolling already. We're rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, we're rolling all right. Already. thanks everyone to... Uh, like, I can't even start. Look, I got it today. Hey, uh, thank you everybody for watching uh, my little backstory on how uh, <laughs> I started liking the best Spider-Man. <laughs> Uh, artist in uh, history of Spider-Man artist Mark Bagley. Now uh, we're doing a weekly review uh, with uh, Bernie. <laughs> you forgot. And, you uh, forgot. Ready? One, Mike. two, three. Hey, thanks for attending. You see? <laughs> uh, welcome to Comics Couch and Commentary. It's today. Couch Comics Couch. It's couch. I used the same three <laughs> words. The- what the hell is even that? Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Couch Comics and Commentary here at the Dragon's Lair YouTube channel. Uh, yeah. We're here today, just me me and Mike, we're here today, just the other guys are out doing some stuff, I know celebrating some stuff, uh, I believe Quincy's doing some stuff with his mom, because it's his birthday, also Mother's Day, yep. and uh, I know Chris is getting ready to head out to head down to Alabama for some uh, actual real work stuff, but uh, man, I'll tell you what, last Saturday was fun because all four of us here, so you're not going to see all four of us here for at least another month, and I'm going to let you know, uh, the day everybody's back it's going to be i think it's june 12th mm-hmm. which is going to be a big celebration here at the dragons there we're going to be celebrating 
I think it was 40 years of the Dragons' 40, existence. 40, 40, 40, something, 40. something like that. We, we got the numbers. We're, we're trying to look at the calendar. Yeah, we're trying to narrow it down how many years the Dragons' has been in existence. Uh, I know I've owned it for 28 years, so uh, we're going to be getting that down. But June 12th, guys, everybody will be back. Them boys will be here. I'll be here. And uh, I think B's going to be here. Gonna, it's an all-hands-on-deck thing. It's going to be a lot of fun uh, and a lot of cool sales. So let's move on. This week, the week of reviews just going to be done by me and Mike. So, uh, Mike, you're going to start off, brother. So you go so, ahead. So uh, my pick of the week was this new book by Boom Studios called Eve. I look that way because the pick of the weeks are on that side now, and uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. It was uh, it's a really good book. It really it's was. a really crazy story because you don't know if the character is alive or dead, or if the other characters are alive or dead, or she might just be sitting somewhere. The way they wrote this story, it's uh, like again another post-apocalyptic uh, story uh, with a little crazy spin. Uh, I actually, in my opinion, I think she's just like in a coma, and all this is happening in her head. You think so? I, I think, think I so. think she I think she's alive. I don't think so. I think she's alive. But I would tell you, uh, it's actually a really good book because that was one of the first ones I, I read this it. week. I like that. Uh, uh, artwork's beautiful. Um, uh, comic, uh, comic print, mm -hmm. comic. One of this store has a badass store variant for it. Okay, cool. Super badass. I'll show you because I'm going to order it today. I was going to let you know yesterday if you wanted one. Okay. It's super nice. You might as well order me one. I know. Okay. You know, we'll, we'll look at it later. But yeah, man, uh, I read it too. I loved it. Um, if you've read Animosity, that's the kind of feel it has That's what to B it. said. I have not read Animosity. Oh, you got to read Animosity, man. It's great. So that's actually a really good book. Is I get it done? It, I, I got to No, it's still going on. It's Is not, it done by uh, Mark Bagley? Okay, then I'm, no, it's done right. by uh, what's it's by done by Aftershock is actually the real the first book that really took off. Yeah, I remember. Really good book. Definitely check it out. I remember. Uh, I got Animosity one. Yes. Because I picked up it was like a crazy variant, so I picked it up. Okay, cool. So uh, as far as Eve goes, what kind of stars? You, oh, sorry, I will give Dragon it. Head, uh, I will give it. Uh, this I like the story. The story got me like halfway through the book when she wakes up. I was like sold. I, I like I'm liking what I'm reading. I like what I see. And the art is not cheap art. I keep saying it. A lot of these uh, books by non Marvel or DC tend to have cheap art, like rush art. It is not. That's not the case in this book. Uh, I'm gonna give it a strong four. Dragon Heads. That's strong cool. four. Dragon Heads. It's a crazy story. It's it's different. It's not what you expect. Even though it's post apocalyptic, like most of the indie stuff that's coming out as of late. Uh, my honorable mention, it's, uh, Suicide Squad, uh, number three by DC, reason B, Suicide Squad has another speedster, if y'all know me, and Flash people, I love them, so Suicide Squad being, uh, the Superboy and, uh, what's his name, Peacemaker, or Chasing, a speedster, yeah, John Cena. <laughs> not gonna catch him so chasing her so i'm not sure of course you know how i like to read the end of books of certain books on the eve did you catch did you read the little thing in the back about the writer? yes yes, that his, yes, wife, yes, yes. His, his wife was, was one yep. yeah she was yep. a uh, what do you call it, a weather analyst or something yep. like that and uh weather cl a climate analyst and yep. she she does and that's what's kind of i guess this so yeah be. oh yeah, yeah yeah so eve it's pretty much the uh a major flood happens and sinks the world yes which i still call it post-apocalyptic because that's yeah a worst much. case scenario yeah but it was, yes, his wife was a, a climate, uh, whatever, reporter, and then she liked that story. They, they got together and wrote the story. I like that he's like, if you like this story, please, like, give all credit to my wife. Yeah, pretty much. that's pretty cool. The whole, the whole page, that's what I got. Hey, this is my wife's idea based on her job. She deserves all the credit. I mean, that was badass. And my friend, my friend Joe, he says, man, it looks like Ted. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, you know, uh, now that we talk about that last page, you know, but that little... Read uh, the back of uh, reminds me of of Eric because you oh, know yeah. every time Eric talks about ninjas and robots he gives all credits to Janine, yeah, that's his right. wife. So that's pretty good that uh, we have artists and couples and writers that love what they do and then use their love and relationship and advice from their better that's half right. significant others to uh, to put good products like this because this this is amazing. I like you. <laughs> 
I like Bleep. I like I like Ninjas and Robots, but I like Eve. Like I I like Eve. So uh, Crime Syndicate. Uh, I, not Crime Syndicate. Suicide Squad. Suicide Squad. I like Suicide Squad. I got that new uh, speedster. She cannot run for a long time. She's a, a sprinter. She's trying to become a uh. like she says that she's I want to be a regular Flash, but I can only sprint. So Suicide Squad is trying to catch her. So if you're reading, so like, what's your name? Sprint. Uh, <laughs> no, it's like a uh, rush or something like that. Uh, so if you read that, Suicide Squad connects to uh, obviously connects to the Flash, and it links directly to Teen Titans Academy. Oh, is it her? Yeah, that's the same girl. Okay, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, since we're talking about Teen Titans Academy, now Suicide Squad got Red X to uh, catch her. So they. Suicide Squad can catch her, and then Red X shows up and be like, "I can't ah. hit, hit me up." So, so, so we're good. going. So, since all the other guys are here, we're just throwing out extra stuff. For yeah, you yeah. I out. like everything DC this week was amazing. Everything that came out DC was amazing. You have to I, get him a DC shirt, him, it, it, or him, him a shirt. It says, "I don't me have and Chris. I don't me have and Chris. <laughs> I don't have a DC shirt." Mike and Smitty. <laughs> so, uh, I'm, hey, uh, my name is Chris. Uh, I'm the DC guy. And Chris, uh, yeah, Chris, uh, Chris is uh, his one. His uh, was Crime Syndicate, was Crime Syndicate. which he was super good too with the Steros. The Steros, that's the name of the star, the 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 starfish, bad guy from DC. Oh, um, I think it's Staro. Some shit like that. I can't even remember. I need so that star that is gonna be the villain. Staro. 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 Yeah. So that uh, is gonna be the villain on the Suicide Squad movie. If you didn't know. Uh-huh. So they're the villain on uh, Crime Syndicate and uh, pretty much beats everybody up. But everything DC this week was good. Oh, cool. I'm, I'm happy with everything DC. Start calling him DC Mike. Hey, All right. It's so not my fault. Uh, it's funny because at the beginning of the week, while we we're you know we we're about to do our, our video, I had one put, one book like okay I'm gonna pick this. And it's because sometimes we just really, we don't get a chance to read. Mm-hmm. And uh, man, I sat down and I read Star Wars Bounty Hunters Alpha Number That's One. Good. Was good man, too. that was really good too. Man, that ended up being my pick of the week yeah, because, really man, we finally get to see the Boba Fett from the Mandalorian in the Star Wars universe. Yeah. Prior, because pretty much that's what it is. Because you know, Empire Strikes Back, we see him. He stands there, and you know, he says, he says his words. He sounds badass, and then we see him. You know, at the beginning of a Return of the Jedi, sitting at Jabba's policy, he's there. And then he gets whacked. He gets knocked out by freaking a blind Han Solo on accident. Yeah. And you're just like, man. Everybody's this like, book. This, this book. This, you're like, man, <laughs> this guy. What the hell? You know. And then he looks badass. But well, in this Star Wars uh, Alpha, that's uh, the Bounty Hunters. Oh man. Uh, I like. If it. you don't know what it's about, so it's actually kind of cool because we all know what happens. It's a bounty hunter. Uh, you know, he gets Han Solo and Carbonite. He gets, you know, Han and Carbonite, and he's taking the Jabba. Well, by Empire, he's there. But we don't know what happened in between, and this is what happens. In between, yeah. In between, and, and just a little, a, a little, a little spoiler, what happens is the Carbonite starts having a little trouble, so he has to stop somewhere to kind of get it fixed, because if not, Han's going to die. At the same time, he's telling Jabba, I'll be there. I'm on my way. And then this stuff happens, and then all of a sudden... Spoiler alert, <laughs> he spray paint his suit in black. <laughs> yes, uh, because he ended up having... And he the, looks badass. <laughs> I, it, 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 you gotta get this book. I, actually, you know, it's funny because we had a, a few the other day. Yeah, we have like... Uh, we, we, we got, got one. We got one left. And the only reason why we have one is because I brought it from home. Because it's the one I read. That's good. So I posted a picture of it, you know, in, in our Dragons or Club page. And I said, uh, you know, this, this is the badass book, blah, blah. We had all kinds of people. Well, calling. yesterday, uh, while I was here yesterday, uh, like four people picked it up. Yep. Because I told, I even told Josh, I was like, Josh, you watch Mando win, yeah. But I'm not a really a uh, Mando fan. I was like, look at this. He looked at me, he's like, oh, nice. Yeah, I'm picking it up. <laughs> so, so it's actually a pretty badass book. I will give that book. I'm gonna give that book four and a half dragon heads. Nice. I liked nice. it a lot. Uh, uh, I've, I've read Star Wars books and, and I've liked them, but this one I, I was I was pretty blown away. Boba Fett, everything like I said, everything we want to see Boba Fett do, he did. So uh, it was pretty bad. So if you get a chance, and I know we're we got one left, but 
We're gonna try to get some more in if we don't. So we're talking about getting a, a DC shirt, right? And my wife texts me, would you wear a Batman shirt? <laughs> She's buying uh, clothes somewhere. And uh, oh. I, now I got my Batman shirt. Yeah, I'm, sure. I'm gonna wear it next time. All right, cool. So there you uh, go. Take DC Mike. So uh, <laughs> my uh, honorable mention, man, I, I, it was gonna be my pick of the week until I actually read Star Wars, Star, Star Wars Bounty Hunters. So my pick, uh, honorable mention is uh, Heroes Reborn. Man, uh, I did not get to read that. I, I, I tell you about. what, it's funny because I, I was like, "Man, what's this about?" And it's, it's basically a world without the Avengers, and that's what it is. Yeah, um, the Avengers would have never happened, right? Yes, but it's funny because the only one who remembers is Blade. But what makes it more funny about this whole thing is that um, it's basically Marvel doing a DC book. Yeah, if you, I don't know if you like that. So, so it's drawn by uh, Ed McGinnis. He used to draw. Superman, Batman, and some Superman issues. And he used to draw Spider-Man. Yes. And uh, so basically, uh, what he, what they, do, the Marvel does, hey, let's just do a DC book. And it's basically, they're the Squadron Supreme of mm-hmm. America. Yeah. <laughs> so it's actually pretty cool. You know. There's Batman, which is Nighthawk. Yep. Hyperion, who is Superman. Superman. And then everybody saw the art germ cover of Princess Power, which is Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. <laughs> I thought it was Wonder Woman. I picked it up. I was like, oh, Wonder Woman. This looks badass. No, that's not Wonder Woman. That's a Marvel book. Oh, well, okay. So cool. so I just give the honorable mention just for what they did to, to do a DC book. I'm going I'm to jump on that honorable mention. Uh, the Blade cover. Oh, yes. By it's, Bagley. It's done by Bagley. All, <laughs> what I'm talking about. Even look, all those, all those uh, training cards are done by Bagley. I know. That's why I got two packs of books. Did you get the Mephisto cover? I did not get my face to color. We're out. I'm, well, I know we're out. But anyways, so honorable mission is uh, Heroes Reborn. I, I I also like like Eve. Like I said, all, all those books that came out this week, uh, as far as indies, were really good. The Good Asian. I like The Good Asian. I read it last night. Yeah, I like it. I, I know you like me. I like it. I mean, yeah, it was a good. It, you're I mean, an okay Asian. <laughs> I'm an but, okay Asian. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, basically what The Good Asian is, we'll just leave it as is. He's a detective in the Times in San Francisco. 1936. Well, oh, oh. Race system was rampant. Yes, uh, and, especially and, and, in Cali. Yep, with uh, Asians and coming into it's, it's a typical thing. So it was actually really good. I like how he got to make the detective. He's like, "Oh, hey, uh, you, you know uh, Bernie? Yeah, <laughs> I know Bernie. Okay, you're coming with us. You're a detective now. Wait, hold on. How did this happen? So it, it was actually really good. It was actually funny because uh, right before I read, it, I had this picture my dad had bought. Uh, I bought. He gave me. Uh, a, a month ago, it was in an envelope, and I had B and I had Ian sitting there. I said, hey, pull this picture. And it's a picture that was probably around that same time frame Damn. of my grandfather. Um, you know, my dad's, my dad's nice. father. Because, you know, my, my, dad's, my dad's up there in age. So uh, it was a picture of, of my grandfather and my grandmother with my dad's oldest sister, my auntie, who is 95. And she's a little girl in this picture. And, and you get, man, it's cool because, you know, you, the, the, out, the outfits and yeah. the the stuff it looked really great. So it was kind of weird that I I showed this picture and then all of a sudden I read the good agent and it's in that time period. It's yeah. actually pretty cool. Well, that's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I didn't say it at the beginning, but here, if you did like the video, definitely share, like, and uh, comment, and then tell all your friends about it. So that's it, guys. Have a great day. God bless. We'll see you soon. As I always say, it's all about the comment community. Take care. Bye bye.